United States cities were used to conduct an experiment where people were trained to feel the feeling of peace in a very specific manner and they were strategically, strategically placed in these cities. Each city had populations over 10,000 people. Uh, and these were documented in some of the very well-known uh, uh, TN studies that were done uh, back in the, uh, in the early 70s. And what happened was during the time that the people were feeling the feelings of peace in the community around them, beyond the buildings where they were having their experience, the communities experienced statistically measurable reductions in crime, violent crimes against people, traffic accidents declined. Uh, in some cities like Chicago, where the stock exchanges, the stock market soared while peace was in place. And when they stopped their prayers, all those statistics reversed. And they did this time and time again to such a degree that the effect could be measured and it was applied in an even greater experiment that was uh, documented in the Journal of Conflict Resolution, 1988. And this was the experiment. It was called the International Peace Project in the Middle East. And what happened during the Israeli-Lebanese War in the early 1980s, as a result of these earlier studies, people who were trained to feel the feelings of peace were positioned throughout the war-torn areas in Israel and Lebanon. And during the time, what the researchers called the window, the prayer window, when they were feeling, people were trained to feel the feelings of peace in their hearts, when they were feeling those feelings, terrorist activities dropped to zero. Crimes against people declined. Emergency hospital room visits declined. And they tried doing these experiments different times of day, uh, different days of the week to make sure it wasn't an effect of, of weeks or weekends or holidays or, or different times of the month to make sure it wasn't an effect of lunar cycles affecting people. And when the studies were complete, what they found, although we may not know precisely why this effect happens the way it happens, we know the correlations are so high that when a certain number of people begin to feel the feeling of peace or healing in their bodies in one place, the effect carries into the community beyond the place where these people are. And it is so precise that we now know, the statisticians were able to determine precisely the number of people that are required to kickstart, to jumpstart this kind of an effect. So I'll share the, uh, the formula and then I'll describe what that formula means. The effect is first noticed when a certain number of people are participating. And that number, the minimum number, is the square root of 1% of a given population. So what does that mean? If you have a city of 1 million people, for example, you take 1% of 1 million on your little calculator, and then you take the square root of whatever that 1% was, and that number tells you how many people are necessary, the threshold number, to begin the effect. Obviously, the more people that participate, uh, the greater the effect. Uh, for a city of 1 million people, that number is only about 100. In a world of 6 billion people, the square root of 1% of the given population is only about 8,000 people. 8,000 people, according to these studies, are the number of people, that's all that's required, to feel the feelings of peace in their hearts in a given moment in time, simultaneously, to kickstart, to jumpstart that consciousness linked through the field as we know the field exists today, before that peace is felt.